In this example, we will be evaluating the square root of 78 to the nearest tenths place value. To do this, we want to look at perfect squares nearby to 78. First, we can try 8 squared, which gives us 64. We can also try 9 squared, which will give us 81. We can see that 78 lies between 64 and 81. However, it's a lot closer to 81, so we'll consider that when looking for our decimal approximation. Now let's write the following inequality. The square root of 64 is less than the square root of 78, which is less than the square root of 81. We can write this inequality because 64 is less than 78, which is less than 81. Now let's simplify this. The square root of 64 can be simplified to 8 because 8 squared is 64. The square root of 81 can be simplified to 9 because 9 squared is 81. So now our inequality is as follows. 8 is less than the square root of 78, which is less than 9. So we know that the square root of 78 is between 8 and 9. However, because 78 is a lot closer to 81, we know that our decimal approximation will be closer to 9. So we can try out values like 8.8 .8 times 8.8 .8 to see how close we can get to 78. 8 times 8 is 64, carry the 6. 8 times 8 again is 64 plus 6 is 70. Now add a 0 and repeat that, and we'll have 77.44 as our answer, which is very close to 78. We can try 8.9 times 8.9 to see if that is any closer. 9 times 9 is 81, carry the 8. 8 times 9 is 72, plus 8 is 80. Add the 0. 8 times 9 is 72, carry the 7. And then 8 times 8 is 64, plus 7 is 71. When we add these together, we get 79.21. So we can see that the 77.44 is closer to 78 than 79.21 is, so the 8.8 .8 is a better approximation. So we can approximate the square root of 78 to be about 8.8. .8.